Alright, what's up guys? So, I was home tonight and I figured I would film a get unready with me, like a nighttime routine. Um, my skin's been doing a lot better recently. <sighs> and I think it has a lot to do with my routine, so I wanted to just share it with you guys. And maybe you care, maybe you don't. But just keep on watching if you do care. So, anyways, usually when I get home from work, I like to shower, relax a little bit if I'm not working again later that night. So, like, tonight I got, got off of work and I was relaxing a little bit, but um, I ate. Now I'm just drinking some tea. Um, isn't this cup so cute? Can't really see it because the lighting is a little bit bright, kind of. But I got it at a thrift store, and I'm so obsessed with it. I never want to use another cup again. But I'm just drinking a um, lemon ginger tea with um, some raw organic apple cider vinegar and a little slice of lemon and some honey. So first things first is I will usually have a full face of makeup on. If not, then skip this step obviously. But I go in with my makeup wipes. And these are just the Equate Beauty Nighttime Soothing. I get the nighttime ones. Let's see. Probably can't see that. But it's the one in the purple. I think there's the blue packaging and then the purple. I love getting the nighttime soothing one because I like how they smell and they're more um, gentle. But, um,. It's nighttime soothing on, I don't know, it supposedly has like a calming scent to it, like a lavender, it's like when you're taking off your makeup it like relaxes you, but honestly I've tried so many makeup wipes and I keep going back to these, I get the pack of two for five dollars at Walmart, it's like five or six dollars, but honestly it's so much better than like the Neutrogena wipes, I've tried, I've tried almost every like makeup wipe that there is and I go back to these and they're the cheapest and they last me the longest and they do take off, off all of my makeup I don't have to use multiple wipes so I love these they're A1 and they don't burn my eyes I have really sensitive eyes when I take off my makeup and these don't burn my eyes at all and also a little tip store your wipes you know okay so you just used one right you're gonna close it make sure it's shut when you put this away put it away facing down like this because when you take out your next wipe it's going to be perfectly moist it's going to be even and moist you know like when you use your makeup wipes and you keep taking them out and the ones on the bottom are the good ones because they're all moist down there this way once you store them like this they're all going to be good they're all going to be the good little wipey you know because they're all going to be perfectly moist the uh, moisture is being distributed through the wipes. So there's a little tip for you. Okay, so the whole beginning of that video was probably out of focus, but whatever. Anyway, I keep looking here because guess what? That's where my viewfinder is. Or whatever. Okay. So excuse my crusty face. I had this makeup on just about all day. So my makeup wipe is perfectly moist. I'm going to just go in with this. I'll probably speed through this because this is so ugly. Um, drink your water also, please. That I can tell you that I've had such a significant change in my skin ever since I've been drinking a lot more water. So I usually drink two or three of these a day, um, full of water, ice water, or lemon water. I'll put like a lemon wedge in here and um, it makes me like more eager to want to drink my water because I love lemon water. And I got this off of Amazon. It's just a little Amazon bottle. It says Health Pursuer. I got it for 20 bucks and it came with two lids. It has the straw lid and the regular lid. I love the straw lid because I hate having to freaking lift a big old bottle over your head mm. it's so good it really does keep my water my eyes will be in here for like three to four days just kidding i'm dramatic like two three days 
one or two days like the eyes will last you i don't know i don't want to make any like promises you know but um i just threw some stickers they're already falling off don't look at them but yeah i love it and it's so cute and it's yellow so cute i think it's adorable but yeah so i always keep this um by my bed so that i'm drinking it in the morning when i wake up and then at night when i go to sleep so now that i have nothing on my face no makeup i mean um so this is the part where i'll usually jump in the shower and then come out and do the rest of this routine but um since i showered already a little bit ago well a little bit ago this morning before work i'm lying um i usually will have these face cleansing cloths so this is from target these are the up and up exfoliating wet cleansing cloths so a makeup wipe is going to take off your makeup but it's not as good as going in with like a cleanser getting all the dirt out of your face you know like as you would in the shower so i usually even if i'm not showering i don't like to just go in with a makeup wipe i like to go in with one of these after as well and i notice a big difference after using these as well um these don't leave residue on my face but this just gets me you know and these are so useful if you're like going to a party or something you're staying at someone's house you don't know if you're gonna be able to shower um just keep by your bedside you know if you're too tired or you don't want to go wash your face these make a difference i promise you invest in these they're so bomb Usually right when I get out of the shower, I will go in with, am I crazy? Oh no, it's right here. I'll go in with a toner. Toners are really important, guys. So, I have a witch hazel toner. This one's almost done. So I get this at Target or Walmart. They sell this for, I think, literally a dollar or two dollars. Because it's not like a name brand, you know? It's just the regular like witch hazel i don't know but um i also have this one the alba botanica acne dope this toner as you can see i get it at tj maxx right there um it's originally like 12 dollars, but i always see it at like tj maxx and ross and stuff and so i'll repurchase it there but um this one i use only when i'm breaking out because it's super strong and when I say strong, I mean like really strong. Like you will feel this in your pores, cleaning out your pores. I'm dying, guys. I have no idea when that cut off. But cut things short. So buy this one. Don't buy it, the Mario Badescu one. This one's better. It comes with more. It's cheaper. And it doesn't have all these ridiculous things in the um what's it called ingredients that's what i meant to say okay so after that i go in with a moisturizer and the one that i have used and have used it's gone i got this at rite aid it's the olivera um why can't i focus it's an olivera moisturizer Okay, and then next I go in with a eye cream. So I usually will go in with this one. This is the L'Oreal Revitalift. Okay, guys, this was expensive. I think it was like 20 something dollars, but I really wanted an eye cream. And so this is what I invested in. And then after that, I'll go in with my vitamin E oil. Honestly, at first, I was concerned about putting oil on my face. But, like, seeing the difference that it makes, putting it on my skin, I don't think I can go back to not putting it on my skin, to be honest. So, I just have this bottle here to show you guys. Um, because this is what I had here in my drawer but like by my bed stand is where I keep all of this stuff and I have a little dropper so that that has this in it 
So I'll just put the dropper right here. And I'm able to put it on my face. But I'll just show you guys with this. So I'm just going to grab some of the oil. So um, the last thing I do before I go to sleep. Just kidding. It's not the last thing I do. But um, I'm out of breath and I'm just sitting down. So I go in with. A mixture of vitamin E oil, jojoba oil, and castor oil. So I got this little bottle thingy. Well, my aunt got it for me off of Amazon. Shout out to Jenny. Thank you. So it comes with a little stopper. Take it out, you put the oils in there, and then you put it in. You can see that it's like a little dirty, but so I like to put this on my eyebrows. Oh, hair-wise, so my hair right now is like ridiculously dry since I just bleached it and it's not even styled right now, so don't judge me, but it's like hay, you know, but before this, believe it or not, I had pretty healthy hair, I never really did anything to it, so after I shower, I go in with, um, you know, various oils in my hair. But something, uh, you can't keep putting oil into your hair because eventually it's going to get greasy. So one thing that I really love to put into my hair, love, love, love this, is the It Naturals 12-in-1 Amazing Leave-In Treatment with Argan Oil. Infused with Borage Oil, Paraben-Free, Keratin-Enriched. It's cruelty-free as well. So I got this at Gem Beauty. I did not purchase this, but... I might repurchase it or I might actually purchase it but I put this in my hair after I shower and a lot of times before I go to bed as well or before I go somewhere because it is not greasy at all and it's gonna add a little bit of conditioner into your hair without making your hair greasy so I like to put this in my hair so the product is in my hair at night when I'm sleeping and in the morning I can deal with it um, one of my other favorites is the Garnier Fructis Sleek and Shine for frizzy, dry, unmanageable hair. I love going in this, going in with this for frizz. When my hair's feeling dry and frizzy, I will literally go in with this, and it smooths down my frizz. So I usually will go in this in the daytime before I go somewhere. I'll go in with this at night, and I'll also go in with this. So this is the Shea Moisture. Uh, this is, why are these names so long? I don't know. This is a Shea Moisture Sugar Cane Extract and a Meadow Foam Seed. I don't know. I think the application is so cool. Like it, it's like a little spray bottle. But it sprays cream. Just saying. So I like this as well because it's not greasy at all. It's not going to leave your hair oily. They smell amazing. My best friend actually purchased this because she loved it so much when she had used it. But I really like these. They don't leave your hair looking greasy. So I put those in my hair as well before going to sleep. And I think that's it, guys. So I'm probably just going to read a little book before going to sleep tonight, you know, relaxing a little bit. But yeah, leave me some ideas if you guys want to see anything else. But that was it for my nighttime routine. Thank you so much for watching if you got this far. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.